Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 115. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here now with the Mitsulago LP640 trophy. We're going to be driving around Silverstone, uh, Miguelo, Suzuka, Maple Valley, Camino Via de Montserrat, and then the old Mulsane circuit. Let's get going. I'll be 100% honest, Ubisoft has, like, have they, did they, have they actually released anything? For a while now? I don't think they have. Like, in, in Assassin's Creed, technically speaking, based off of their last sort of patterns, we should have had a new Assassin's Creed this year, but that's going to be next year. The Crew 3 should have been this year, based off of patterns, so that's next year, the year after. I think the only thing that's come out is uh, Rainbow Six Extraction. That's actually come out this year. It's like one of their big main titles. This car will be on my YouTube forever. Yes, exactly. Ugh. Yeah, I think I'm only going to do these three races for today and then do the other three tomorrow. Or the day after. On Friday. Next Forza stream. Let's have a look. I'm actually curious now. Uh, UB Soft Video Game Company. Wikipedia. Wikipedia is always the best place when it comes to, like, quick facts. Whenever you're writing essays, it's never a good idea to use Wikipedia, but when you're looking for, like, a list of things, especially, like, games that they've done, What's to say since 2018? Oh, it feels like ice.
crap. Oh, that's interesting. So Ubisoft actually made something called the Dunia engine. Um, which was a fork of the Crytek engine. Um, because the original Far Cry games were actually made with the Crytek engine. And I always wondered why they were still called Far Cry when they weren't related to Crytek. Well, it turns out the Dunia engine is basically just fucking... pretty cool. It's actually surprising that Ubisoft have made multiple different engines for the different games, which kind of makes sense. So why doesn't EA do it? EA, get on making different engines for different games. <laughs> we shouldn't be using Frostbite for Need for Speed, even though this Need for Speed has actually been fairly alright. Need for Speed shouldn't be using the Frostbite engine. It's built for get like Frostbite is a really good engine that's built for like FIFA and NHL, you know, sports games. It's very good at that. It's not very good at racing games. Get Criterion to learn how to use the Ego engine. And make Criterion use the ego engine this uh, Codemasters has. I can guarantee you, you get a much, much better Need for Speed game out of that. Guaranteed. Alright. <laughs> Cheers, game. Not even the game, it's the controller. Crap. <laughs> there we go, much better. That's a new division game. I didn't even realize they announced a new division game. Oh, 
Oh my god. Have I just... Apparently they might be doing an Assassin's Creed VR game. What? Holy shit. Please tell me that's real. Please tell me they make a, a VR Assassin's Creed game. That would be fucking sick. That would be mental. Mental man! <laughs> I'm finally like a couple of hours past where I was on my YouTube playthrough of Odyssey. Because I, I kind of gave up on Odyssey because it was quite difficult to produce more content for it. I don't know why, it just was. It was very difficult to make the content at the time. Since having the Steam Deck, I really enjoy the play through Odyssey. Hoping that I can finish it within the next month though. Including the two DLCs because I so desperately want to play Origins. back. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, I got distracted by the car at the side. Alright, we've got two more races to do after this. Very nice. Very nice. I don't know if I said this on stream yet, but I finally watched Borat. Like, last month. Finally watched it. Like, I've been wanting to watch it, but never watched it. Watch that. That's fucking hilarious. Crazy funny. <laughs> it's such a stupid show, though. Honestly. It's like the kind of shit that you expect from <laughs> Sacha Baron Cohen. Oh, I'm sad. I'm sad. Oh, for context, the game was uh, Emergency Heroes, if you, if you didn't know. <laughs> it was basically a game that came out of the Wii and I played it as a kid and it was fucking awesome. Like, that was the game that I played before I really got into, like, Need for Speed, Hot Pursuit and stuff like that. Like, I would have been, like, five when I played it. I should totally have a look on CEX and see if they sell copies of it. Get the Wii U out and play some fucking emergency heroes.
It doesn't even use the sensor bar, which means I don't have to worry about getting that out. Move! Pig. I can't really call him a pig, because I'm a bright pink car. I look like pig. I look like Percy the pig. Mess that one up. Now I'm on the outside beach. Sell it for two quid. <laughs> nice. Oh my god, they got one in, uh, they got one in Rose, they got one in St. David's as well. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, I'm. I may just have to get the Wii back out. Fuck! Oh, I messed up big time. I'm searching that up. Oh no, I'm going to have to buy it. <laughs> Sag. I grew up with that game as a kid. I still have like memories of the final mission. Metacritic giving it a 41 is a bit harsh. I don't like Metacritic anymore. <laughs> Ah, you tip. Come on. There's people on the ground. Yeah, this is a good song. It's a really good song. And we are people on the ground, people on the ground, back in every corner. People on the ground, people on the ground, back in every corner. Ah, uh, never to be found, make our way across the border. Uh, 
people on the ground, people on the ground, I can never recall. Take it out and make it worth it. Give me more, cause I deserve it. We are lost, but I am searching. No, 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 no. Alright, not bad. That they said would come, and I can see you there, it is moving. I think this is his most listened to song, actually. Rolston. I struggle a little bit with this car for some reason. It doesn't seem very stable. Come on. There we go. Come a little closer. Oh no, I won't go, won't go. I won't go, I won't go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Oh, do you know what else I've been playing? Fucking Half-Life. So, Valve has this bundle. Um, and it was like four quid because I already own like Portal 1 and Portal 2. But it basically comes with pretty much every game that Valve has ever made. Got it. I think it's like every game that Valve's ever made up to a certain point. Um... Actually, I don't think Valve has made many games over the past few years, now that I think about it. Valve, you should get on and make some more games. Make a new Portal. Make a VR version of Portal. That would be fucking lit. Um, but yeah, I bought it. Half-Life Half was on there. Gave it a try. Pretty decent game. I think it's on par with Doom for me, to be honest. Like, it's that kind of game, but it's, like, old school, but it's still playable. It's really cool. I liked it. Not bad. Right, one more race to go. <laughs> Alright, here we go. It's time to drive. Time to go. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, cheers. Everyone has just pushed me off there. Starting in last place, I guess. It's fun, man. Pricks. Mm -hmm. Beep, beep, motherfucker. Get out the way. So when the shit's done, I'm pimping the shit. You need to uh, send a photo of that in the Discord so I can see. I've obviously moved myself as well, but I'm hoping that I can get some uh, like furniture stuff in here. Looks I'm not too fussed about, um, for me, personally, but I really want to get the functionality of my old setup back to where it was, because at the moment my new setup is like 50% functional, like it was, um, example, HDMI matrix isn't set up, so all of my consoles can't be plugged in at the same time, um, I only have one console plugged in at the moment, so that again, less functional. Um, I have the monitors set up perfectly though, um, so that's that's a plus I guess. I just want to get a desk sorted out and then get... Um, I think once the matrix is set up, then everything else pretty much becomes functional. Because the matrix is what pretty much held up my entire setup before. Um, so it works with all controllers for one type of console, if I'm not mistaken. 
I believe. So the Xbox One works with all controllers work in it, but it only works on Xboxes. So the one that I have, I've obviously got the Xbox One so that I can use my PS5 controller, but I could use a Nintendo controller, I could use a cheap Xbox controller, I can use, I can even use the Stadia controller I have. Actually, that's a good shout. That works. My Stadia controller, I could use that. I still can't believe they shut down Stadia. Out of all... The thing is, cloud gaming is not where it should be. We, as a world, don't have the infrastructure to achieve what cloud gaming needs to achieve to be successful. We're about 10 years out from cloud gaming. Uh, I don't, but I will send you one after this. So... Do, 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 Ah! Hang on. You're gonna have to wait about 10 minutes, sorry. Do 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 bum ba dum bum 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 ba da bum Go 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 come on Get round the corner you fat bastard I was literally just about to say I th I think my PC has like telepathic abilities because I was just about to say that um, so far it hasn't dropped like the frames hasn't fluctuated and then it just fluctuated. It was like, bitch. <laughs> I've been looking at it for like five, ten seconds and it was like, ah, stable. 59.9 full frames a second. And then all of a sudden, no. You fat bastard. You fat bastard. It's a, it's a great chant. That's why I use it so much. Because it's funny. You fat bastard. You fat bastard. Wow, 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 wow. 
Such. Honestly, it's like one of those weird. Like, it's drum and bass, but it doesn't fit in any genre of drum and bass. It's just awesome. You spoon! You fucking spoon! Oh, I'm just sad. Oh, now that was a good corner. That was a very good corner. Wow, that was a bad idea. Ugh. I try clearing my ears and now it's it sounds weird. Oh maybe it's not. I don't know. I can hear myself more. Everything's louder. It feels normal. But it doesn't. Ugh. No, it doesn't feel right. Ugh. That's better. That's better. It's better to land. Yeah. I gotta finish this quickly, bear with. Bum, 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 bum. Ah, you fuck. <laughs> and there we go. We are done. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>